Dear students, in this video we are going to solve the problem from analytic function. The problem is prove that the real and imaginary parts of an analytic functions are harmonic functions. Or, or means otherwise, the other, other model of the question is if w equal to u plus iv satisfy the Laplace equation in two dimensions i said two dimensions means they have x y or u v here it have u v then you have to prove that del square u equal to zero and del square v equal to zero these two terms we are going to prove in the first part they are given real and imaginary parts of the analytic function is are harmonic harmonic means del square u equal to zero and del square v equal to zero so now first we are going to start the proof the next page proof is let f of z equal to u plus i v be an analytic function We know that the CR equations, if the function, if f of z is analytic function, then you know that by CR equations, Cauchy-Riemann equations, Cauchy. Riemann equation simply called C or equations. What is the C or equations? You knew that u x equal to v y and u y equal to minus v x. You name this as 1 and 2. So, here I name this as this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. This is a CR equation. Cauchy Riemann equation is simply called this as CR equations. You have to memorize both equations. Next, what we going to do that? How to differentiate these both equations with respect to x? So, differentiate, you copy the same equation the next time. So, ux equal to vy and u y equal to minus v x. I copied the previous term. Now, differentiate 1 and 2. This is 1 and 2. For your understanding, I write both. So, differentiate. This is 1. This is 2. Equation 1, comma 2 with respect to x. Partially with respect to x now we get here u x is there you differentiate one time we can additionally add u x x so this u x can be written as this u x can be written as u double x because we differentiate with respect to x here v y is there this can be written as v x y here v y is there we differentiate with respect to x so v y x and here u y can be written as u y x minus this can be written as minus v x is there again you can add x so in the previous term just we are adding in this term we are adding on x on double side here we are adding on x on double side that means we differentiate x in all the terms now we obtain this format now you name this as other equation so here you name this as equation number three this is named as equation number 4. Again, you consider the same equation. So, differentiate. Equation 1 and 2 again with respect to y. With respect to y. Partially with respect to y. Then we get, you consider the same one. Here also same one, you differentiate with respect to y means you just add the term y. Here y, here y, here also y, here y. Then you copy that. That is the differentiation of y. 
so now we write the same thing as this can be written as u x y equal to u x y equal to v y y because we differentiate with respect to y here also you add y y so you get u y y is equal to minus v x y here i name this as equation number 4 and equation number 5 sorry 5 and 6 already we named 4 so this can be written as equation number 5 and 6 this is named as 5 this is named as number 6 now what do you do we are adding 3 and 6 this is equation number 3 You are adding 3 and 6. So, if you are adding 3 and 6 in the left hand side, you can add and right hand side, you can add. So, in left hand side, 3 and 6 equal to. So, 3 equation number 3 plus equation number 6 equal to. In third equation, in the left hand side, you have uxx equal to this uxx. Here, left hand side, you have uyy. So, plus uyy equal to in the right hand side you can add the right hand side here vyx here minus vxy vyx minus vxy already you know that you can exchanging both so yx can be written as xy so in the next step i wrote this as vxy because i am interchanging both so x come here y come here so i wrote it in the next step, the middle sign is minus vxy. You write the copy the left hand side terms. Your left hand side terms are uxx plus uyy. So now you can cancel both because same term with the different sign. So these are same, but sign is different here minus plus. So you can cancel on both sides. So you get 0. So this time is equal to 0. Here you get uxx plus uyy equal to 0. This can be written as del square of x you can copy this as del square of x so del square of u equal to 0 this can be written as u del square of u equal to 0 so we proved one term next we are going to prove the other term this is okay or the next one is okay so next is what we are going to do you can subtract 5 minus 4 equation 5 minus 4 equation 5 right uh, left hand side is u double x u y x So, u double x, sorry, u x y plus u y x equal to, in the right hand side you are checking minus v x x, v y y. Sorry, here subtracting, we are subtracting 5 minus 4. So, 5, first you write u x x, x y, u y x. Here already we wrote it. Next, in the right hand side, you are subtracting in the middle sign is not plus minus. The middle sign is minus. So, in the middle sign, you put minus sign. So, next is u y y minus minus u x x. So, u y y minus of minus u y y or v y y. v y y. So, v y y minus of minus v x x. Now, we subtract it is over. Now, you are adding both you get. equal to v y y here it multiple this minus into minus minus into minus what do you get plus so plus v x x but this side you can interchange first term is u x x the second term you can interchange both y x can be written as x y so minus u x y so now what happens same term but different signs is plus minus there's a difference so we can cancel both so plus and minus cancel therefore zero is equal to v y y plus v x s i can rearrange this so interchanging both this you get v x x plus v y y equal to 0 this can be written as del square of v del square of v equal to 0 the second term also fruit 
therefore we obtain the answer our answer we have to prove that del square u0 and del square v0 we proved both of the terms our problem is over so hence proved thank you